Hi, today I'm testing this Kodak Mini Retro Instant Camera, but let's do first unboxing. Let's go! At the beginning, I would like to say a huge thank you to Kodak for reaching out to me. They said, listen, Darius, we love your content. Can you please review this uh, camera on your channel? And I was more than happy to do it. Uh, quick disclosure, this isn't sponsored. They didn't pay me anything to say about this device. Um, however, I am able to keep this device, but again, this is my personal opinion. But let's have a look quickly what's inside the box. You've got a charging point. Sadly, it's not Type-C, it's the mini USB, uh, but it's pretty easy and straightforward to charge. Yeah. It only takes about two or three hours to top it up. Uh, and I have to say, look at the retro look. Absolutely incredible. I am a huge fan of those uh, retro look. I remember when I was younger, uh, my dad used to have Polaroid and we had loads of pictures. Uh, and I think, Back in now, 2022, it's pretty unique, even now, you use those instant uh, cameras. What I like about this camera, how affordable it is to print one picture, in average, here in the UK, it will cost you about 40 pence, which I think is pretty cheap. Let me show you quickly how to change the cartridge. All you have to do is press that and pull this cartridge out and put the new one in. Very simple, straightforward, nothing complicated. What's pretty good about this camera printer that you can change things in your camera itself. You've got a few options um, to pick within your camera. However, I do prefer connect to the app and then you will have a lot more options available. So when you connect your phone with uh, Kodak Mini Retro 3, you've got options to pick picture from your device. Okay, and then you can print it on the printer, which I'm going to do now. I really love this picture. This is one of my favorite. Uh, I'm not sure what phone I used for this. I think that was uh, Opal Finex 5 Pro, but let's print it and have a look at the quality now. I have to say, it does take a couple of minutes to do it. However, it's very satisfying to watch. Guys, let me show you something. This picture was taken nine years ago when my wife was pregnant. It was a beautiful sunset, but as you can see, the quality is not there anymore. So what Kodak is claiming, their picture will last 100 years. That would be pretty amazing if my grandchildren will be able to have a look at my pictures. Wow. So can you see this is a Fujifilm and the picture is only nine years old and we stood there on the shelf. Yeah, not very impressed to be honest. Not to mention uh, the Kodak pictures are also water resistance and um, smooch resistance too. That's pretty amazing. This is all due to the past printing technology. But what do you think about this device? I will put some links in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.